Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. Root x plus y is equal to 7 and x plus root y is equal to 11. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y such that x and y are positive integers. Means that uh, x is uh, greater than or equal to 1 and uh, y is greater than or equal to 1. So let's start. First we suppose that let a is equal to root x and uh, b is equal to root y. Since x is greater than or equal to 1, this a, a must be greater than or equal to 1. And because uh, y is greater than or equal to 1, this b, b must be greater than or equal to 1. And uh, if we square both sides of this equation, this implies that uh, a squared is equal to x. And if we square both sides of this equation, this implies that uh, b squared is equal to y. So this uh, first equation will become a plus b squared is equal to 7. Let's call this equation equation number 1. And this uh, second equation will become a squared plus b is equal to 11. Let's call this equation equation number 2. Now from equation number 2 we subtract equation number 1. So this will become a squared plus uh, b minus a plus uh, b squared is equal to 11 minus 7. Further simplify this will become a squared plus uh, b minus this a and due to this negative sign this b squared will become negative b squared is equal to 11 minus 7 will become 4. Now we combine these two terms a squared and negative b squared and we combine these two terms negative a and plus b. So this will become a squared minus b squared minus a plus b is equal to 4. This a squared minus b squared can be factorized as a plus b times a minus b. And from these two terms negative a plus b we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left a minus b is equal to 4. Now as you can see this expression a minus b is a common factor. So we factor out this a minus b and in bracket left this a plus b and this negative 1 in bracket left a plus b minus 1 equal to now we have product of uh, two factors at left hand side and uh, a and b are positive integers means that uh, a is greater than or equal to 1 and b is greater than or equal to 1. So this 4 can be factorized as uh, 1 times 4, 2 times 2 and uh, 4 times 1 means that we have three cases this is case 1 this is case 2 and this is case 3 first we solve case 1 1 time 4 in case number 1 we write these factors a minus b times a plus b minus 1 equal to 1 time 4 which means that this a minus b will be equal to 1 and this a plus b minus 1 will be equal to 4. So this will become a minus b is equal to 1 and 
a plus b minus 1 equal to 4. From this equation, we move this negative 1 to the right hand side. This will become a plus b equal to 4 plus 1 and a plus b equal to 5. In this equation, we add this equation. So, we write this equation below this equation a plus b equal to 5 and we add these two equations. This negative b will be considered out with this positive b and 1a plus 1a will become 2a equal to 1 plus 5 will become 6. If we divide both sides by 2, this implies that a is equal to 3. Replace this a with this value 3. This will become 3 plus b is equal to 5. Move this 3 to the right hand side. This will become b is equal to 5 minus 3 and b is equal to 2. So from this case, uh, we get a value of a 3 and value of b 4. Now, recall that uh, we have supposed we have supposed that uh, a is equal to root x and b is equal to root y. We have supposed that uh, root x is equal to a and uh, root y is equal to b. So, this will become root x is equal to a is 3. If we square both sides, this implies that uh, x is equal to 9. And from this equation, we replace this b with this 2. This will become root y is equal to 2. If we square both sides, this implies that uh, y is equal to 4. From this case, uh, we get uh, x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 4. So the first pair of solutions uh, x comma y is equal to 9 comma 4. Now we solve the second case. In the second case, uh, we have uh, 2 times uh, 2. In case number 2, we have expression a minus b times uh, a plus uh, b minus 1 equal to 2 times uh, 2. So, this uh, a minus b will be equal to 2 and this uh, a plus b minus 1 will be equal to 2. This will become a minus b is equal to 2 and a plus b minus 1 equal to 2. Move this negative 1 to the right hand side. This will become a plus b is equal to 2 plus 1 and a plus b will be equal to 3. This equation we add in this equation. So, we write this equation below this equation a plus b is equal to 3 and we add these two equations. This negative b will be considered with this positive b and 1a plus 1a will become 2a equal to 2 plus 3 will become 5 and this implies that a is equal to 5 over 2, which is not an integer, which means that uh, no integer solutions uh, can be found from this case. So, we move on to case number 3. Case number 3 is uh, case number 3 is uh, 4 times uh, 1. In case number 3, we write the expression a minus b times a plus b minus 1 equal to 4 times 1. 
So this a minus b will be equal to 4 and this uh, a plus b minus 1 will be equal to 1. This will become a minus b is equal to 4 and uh, a plus uh, b minus 1 will be equal to 1. Move this negative 1 to the right hand side this will become a plus uh, b is equal to 1 plus uh, 1 and a plus uh, b will be equal to 2. We add these two equations, we write this equation below this equation a plus b is equal to 2 and we add these two equations. This negative b will be cancelled out with this positive b and uh, a plus a will become 2a equal to 4 plus 2 will become 6 if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that uh, a is equal to 3. We replace this a with this value 3. So, this will become 3 plus b is equal to 2. Move this 3 to the right hand side this will become b is equal to 2 minus 3 and this implies that b is equal to negative 1. And as we discussed earlier that a must be greater than or equal to 1 and uh, b must be greater than or equal to 1 but this b negative 1 is less than 1 so this will be rejected no solution can be found from this case too so the only solution to the system of equations uh, is uh, x comma y is equal to 9 comma 4 this is the final answer of uh, this problem